Hi friends and welcome to Violin Teacher Channel. In this video I'll be discussing number 19 of Wolfhart's Opus 45 Etude Book. This particular etude is tricky because it is in a minor key, C minor, and it throws a lot of accidentals into a three flat key. So if you can remember the key of A flat major, difficult enough, and I think that's been a couple uh, etudes back, but um, if you want to check out the playlist for Op Opus 45, you can just check this link right here in the, in the corner. And um, let's just talk real quick. I'll play this through for you. Much easier than the last etude but you have to get used to the changing first finger so between the B flat uh, on the A string and the, the F natural on the E string that's the B flat and the F natural and then he switches that around a lot and gives you B natural and F sharp so you have to watch for that also we have an A flat which is difficult enough isn't it it's very, we don't, you know, in violin, we just don't, we play it, but we don't expect it. So you have to, you know, be familiar enough. For example, the last measure in line three, watch for that measure because you have a F sharp, a raised one. Let's get you there. Then you have a B flat and a A flat following it. So one, two, and three are all smushed together. Here's the finger pattern. If you think a lot about finger patterns, you'll play better in tune. So always be aware of the finger patterns as they change. Watch that measure. Then he changes the one. No one again. A flat. So watch for that. If you can just be aware of those changing uh, fingerings, you're going to be in good shape. Like the third measure from the uh, bottom. Nice G arpeggio. <laughs> Nice G, uh, G major arpeggio, so that's easy. But you have to watch for what comes just uh, when the theme comes back. Getting that E flat in there. So um, practice your, uh, your C minor scale, E flat major scales, and then watch for those um, accidentals. And let me tell you what I did when I first played through this. I just marked it. I just if I got it wrong on the first play, I marked a flat over it or a natural over it. And um, you know, that just it's just simple as that. Mark your music pencil only, but mark your music and whatever you mark in there to help you play it better is legit. That's allowed. Don't be don't feel silly drawing pictures, arrows, whatever it takes. Now this etude has several variations at the top of the page and you can try them if bowing is what you want to work on. I generally don't do that at this point with my students. We just play through it and move on. So we'll get these bowing challenges later, but if you want to just, you know, take everything you can in technique out of the piece, out of Wolfhart by all means, practice them. I wanted to make one other point that might be helpful while you're learning this piece. And that is, is that notice that we have groups of three notes, four groups in each measure, and no other, no variation until the very last line. Sometimes you can get confused and maybe you'll, you know, you'll hesitate a little bit. But it's handy to know 
that the first group of three always begins down bow, the second begins up bow, the third begins down, the fourth begins up. So if you're starting in the middle of a measure, you'll know which bowing, which direction your bow should go in. Okay, let's get started. I'll play this through for you. And let's try to use, you know, a good amount of bow, get a good sound. Don't worry too much about vibrato. It's going to go by too fast. And to take it at a moderate tempo. All right, here we go. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you will like the video, subscribe, make a comment. Have you played number 19? Let me know what problems you've had with it. Leave me a comment and maybe we could discuss how to make it easier for you.